All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the final episode of this, you know, scripting byte blocks beginner guide. Um, and so this ep this episode will be explaining the differences between the script. So the good thing about you know like our knowledge now is that we know how to script, right? So we know how like you know we know like what the different lines mean. So the last thing for us to do is just to understand what when you would use like let's say a local script over a regular script or a module script over a regular script. So I, I'll need so to actually start off, I'll start off by explaining the differences between us a regular script and a local script. Okay. So a server script will just change the um like the 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 server, right? It, it'll it'll just change something in the game, right? And so this script, uh so because it's changing something in the game, that's why it can run when it's inside of a part. It, like it, it, the script can run when it's in the workspace. The script can run when it's inside server script service, right? Um, so the, the script like doesn't have to be like, like, like the script isn't really too limited by where it can be, right? Because it's, it's it's just affecting the game, so it can be basically anywhere. But a local script will only run if it's inside of a player. And the way we can actually put there's like multi, several different ways of putting a local script inside of a player. The most common one is just doing starter player script. So whenever a player joins, whatever script we have here will be sent to that player. So if I say local script, um, yeah, so actually it gives us this box that says this script runs on clients, not service. Local scripts will only run when they're parented to either the player's backpack, the player's character, the player's player GUI, uh, player script, which is what we're doing right now, or replicated first. So replicated first is this, right? Um, so if I add a local script inside of here, like so, the main difference between a local script and a server script, at least like in terms of the code, is that you're able to get the player. So local player is equal to game dot players dot local player, right? We can do this for this, for, for a server script, we can't. So I can't do a local player equals game dot players there. I can't, I can't do a local player. There's, there is no local player option because this script is for the entire game, right? But this local script, it's inside of a player. So it knows the player. Now, here's the thing. The whole idea of why would you use a local script over a server script is when you want to change something for just one player only. So if we have this part, right? And let's say the, there's like some, I don't know, some button that the player can press that like when the player presses the button, this part becomes yellow, right? But just for this player, how do we make it so that only this player will see the change, but not everyone else? That's where you would do local scripts. So if you change, if I change the color of this part inside of a local script, then like it'll only change for whatever player has this script. It will not change for anyone else who doesn't have this script. So if I say workspace dot part, oh, dot part, uh, dot color, is equal to color three dot new or dot, dot from RGB, and uh, I don't know, just give it some like orange color, like so. Here's what's gonna happen: if I run the game right now, oh wait, no, not run. I have to actually play the game. If I play the game right now, part is not a valid member of workspace. What do you mean it's not a valid member? Okay, right. Again, this is where wait for child comes in. The part didn't load in time. So we have to wait for the part to load in and then it shouldn't give me that error. Yeah, there we go. Now it's fine. And there we go. Yeah, the part is orange. Wonderful. But here's the thing. It's only orange to me. So only I see it as orange. My mouse is not. There we go. Okay. Only I see it as orange. So right now on the top, we can see that right now I'm playing the game through my client. If I play the game through the server, the part is still white. So it's only orange for me because my local script told me to make the part orange, right? But, it, but, like, but then like for the game, nothing, nothing's changed. So only for me, the part is orange, but for the game, the part is still white. That's the difference between local scripts and server scripts. Um, yeah, local scripts are mainly for just the player, right? But, lo but server scripts are for the entire game. Now, what is a module script? So I actually do have a full video on module scripts, which you can go check out. It's like, Explaining module scripts as if you were five years old. I think it's it's called something like that. A module script is weird because it looks like this. And I know this looks difficult, but all it does 
is a module script is effectively just a table. So we create a table and we return this table. And inside of this table, we can add anything that we want. Usually what people do is they add functions to this table. So the way you add a function is you say module. So, you know, you say whatever this is called module dots, and then you, you give it a name. So something like new function, right? Name it, whatever equals to function like this. Yeah. So, so th what this will do is this will add an item, um, inside of the, uh, inside of this table that's called new function, and it's going to be equal to a function. So it's going to, so basically this is the index and this is the value, right? And so this functional can print out like, I don't know, hello. There we go, right? So now this this table has an item inside of it that's equal to a function. But then how would I actually access this? Well, then I could ha just have a script like so. And the way I get this table is I say local mo module table is equal to require. And then I give it the module script. So I can actually put the script inside of the server script. And I can say require script dot module script like so. So what this will do is it's going to return this table, right? Which this table has a function. And so now this module table is equal to this table, which has a function inside of it. So if I want to run the function, I can just say module table dot new function. There we go. So this will run the function. So if I play the game, yeah, there we go. So it's going to print out hello, right? But only because I actually like ran the function here. If I, if I didn't run the function, then it's not going to do anything, right? So a module script can't do anything by itself. It can, it only works when another script requires it and uses its functions, right? Um, and the, the reason you would use module scripts, like technically you don't need them because technically you could do this in, in this script, right? So like, let me show you. If I really wanted to, I could honestly just do this. So inside of the server script, I can make a table called module, I could add a function inside of inside of it, and then I could just run the function here. So I could do this, right? The, the reason why you would use module scripts is to have like all the functions in one place. Let's say you're making a game with like abilities, right? And let's say you have like a, a function for every ability. You have a function for an ability where the player can like jump really high. You have a function where the player fires a beam. You have the function where the player like has his ultimate ability and like explodes everyone or something, right? And so you have a bunch of these functions for a bunch of these abilities. And let's say you want like multiple scripts, right? You have a lot of scripts and all of those scripts have to call those functions sometimes. So would it be, be like, like what is more convenient to have all of these functions in one module script? And then you can just require the module script whenever you need to, or to have all of those functions copied and pasted in every single script that needs them, or just have them all in one nice little spot where you can just require them when needed, like so. Script module, yeah. There we go. Like, what, 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 what's easier, right? That's kind of the idea behind for a module script. You just keep functions here, and then you can just open it up whenever you need and run the functions from any single script, even local scripts, by the way. Um, so yeah, so if I, you know, have a, a local script, and if I put a module script inside of this, I can do this inside a local script as well. So local module is equal to script dot module script uh or no, re require right require like so and then yeah so i can then i could say module dot new function right just like just like so so as long as the local script has access to a module script so as long as bo both scripts have access to the module script then they can use it and what i mean by access is like the local script doesn't have access to this module script because it's inside server script service and local script cannot access server script service or server storage. So these, th both of these are just for server script. Local scripts cannot access them. If you wanted to have a module script that both this script and the local script could access, then place it inside replicated storage because replicated storage is both for the server and the client, right? So then I could say game the hot replicated storage dot module script, right? And then I can do the same thing here. So game dot replicated storage dot module script. So now both the server and the client are using the same exact module script and they're allowed to, so they, they can use the same exact module, module script. So the idea here is that the module script can be used by literally any script that has access to it. And you know, whatever functions that you have in here are all packed nicely in here. 
and you know you don't have to copy and paste them to every single script. If it's still a bit confusing, I understand. You know, it's it is a lot of information. So I I, I go in, in this in depth in my module script video. So make sure to check that out. Um, and I do actually have a mo in depth vid video on local scripts as well. So you can go check that out as well. And yeah, so this marks the end of this um, you know be beginner's guide to scripting. If you found this valuable, um, you know, like, subscribe, whatever. Check out the the course in the comments. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.